In this exercise, we're going to do our first floor plan, so it might be a bit time consuming this uh, exercise. Um, you can follow through with me or you can just do it in your own pace. Um, the dimensions for the floor plan, uh, the link is below in the description on the YouTube video, so you can download the um, exact dimensions. So the first thing we're going to do is basically like we did in the previous lesson, is we're going to XREF our um, ground floor plan that we've already done. So I type XR and bring up our little uh, dialog box here and we're going to left click on attach and we're going to attach DWG, left click on that and we're going to left click on our ground floor plan wherever you saved it, click open uh, we'll leave it as an overlay, make sure the insertion points unticked keep everything for the scale as 111 and I think everything should be okay the way it is so we'll just click OK and as you can see, we now have the XREF of our ground floor plan in here. We select it, the whole thing selects. What we're going to do is we're going to open our layer manager so we can change all the colors um, so it's a bit easier to see what we're doing. So we we'll click on XREF and we'll select the first layer and then we'll scroll down with our mouse wheel, hold down the shift key, left click, and now we'll change the color to perhaps uh, this purpley bluey color okay so everything's that color now all right um, as you can see a few of the things didn't change they're obviously the way they've been set inside the block on those windows but it shouldn't interfere with us too much so what we want to do is uh, oh go back to our layer manager I'll click on all all right okay so what we want to do is we want to change to our brick wall layer and as we can see the outline is basically the same as the floor plan of the ground floor plan so I'm going to start off with drawing a polyline so PL for polyline I'm going to left click on there make sure your ortho is set um, to on so by pressing the F8 key and also that your snaps is on by pressing F3 and we're going to I think snap to there over this way uh, and right down here and now I'm just going to type C and press space or enter to close the polyline. What I can do now is I can also now offset. Uh, what I did was there was I selected the point from there to there to let it know that's the distance I want to offset. I could also select the distance which I know is uh, I believe 240 but we'll just offset and you can see we've got the wall thickness there. Um, that's not on the correct layer so I'll select it go up to our uh, layer drop down box and select on walls timber so now it's on the correct layer and now we'll change our layer to walls timber and we might put in the first wall is our um, room to our lounge room is what we'll look at so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from here and I'm going to come out 3180 Okay, now we're not going to actually, we're going to delete this line once we're finished, but we're going to offset. So that's going to be a base point. So we're going to type O for offset. And we look at the first distance, it's 5160 or 5.16 meters. So I'm in millimeters, so I'm going to offset up there. As you can see, we've got our line there. I can now delete that by typing E um, and erase, or E in space. And now I can offset this wall 90 mil. And now we're going to draw another line. Uh, well, actually, I don't know what that distance is yet, so we're going to offset again. We're going to offset 4200. Okay, and we'll offset 90 mil for the thickness of the wall. And let's see. I'm going to draw another line. So, and now what I'm going to do this time, instead of offsetting, I'm going to select the line. Select the grip so it's hot. Now I'm going to press the space bar so I can move. And as you can see, it's moving with my mouse. And I'll move the mouse in the right direction. And I'm going to type 4800. And we've moved that line there. And I'm going to type offset. That's uh, already 90 mil, so offset. So that's uh, what we've got there is our master bedroom, uh, our lounge room, 
uh, this sort of set. Um, what we can do is that that wall actually, I've put 90, but I think that's actually another 90 mil. So I'm going to move that line another 90 mil. So it's 180 mil thick. Okay, I'm going to draw another line. And I'm going to move that down uh, to 2100 to make our walk-in row. Offset 90 mil, and we can. Oh, we can offset. What is it? Uh, 2310, and offset another 90 mil, and offset 900. Offset another 90 mil. That should be. Uh, that's a water closet, and then we'll offset another 900. And another offset, another 90. As you can see, it's perfect. It's matched up with our stairs as it should. So there's our staircase. So from there, we don't really need offset. We can just draw a line around this part here, which matches up with the ground floor. Uh, something like that, anyway. Um, okay, that's pretty much our walls there. Now, now I'm going to draw a line up to up to here. And I can see that that's a bit thicker, so that's 180 mil thick wall. It's 290s. All right, I'm going to draw a line in the middle, and I'm going to offset that. Perhaps I'll offset that uh, 800. There's no dimension there, so I'm just putting a oop, an arbitrary number there, and then we're going to trim TR for trim. Select that, and that is our boundary, and delete that, and we'll delete that. So now we can type F for fill it. Make sure your radius is set to zero. Okay. And we can, I think that goes to there. The funny little void sort of thing going on in there. Um, we might just make that up as we go along. Let's see. So I'm going to stretch these lines up to here. And I'm going to draw another line up to here. So it lines up and offset 90 mil and I can extend EX for extend select that as our boundary and then select these okay so I think that's right now I think that cupboard well we'll say it's 900 I don't know if it looks quite large isn't it perhaps we'll make that about 700 okay and we'll offset 90 mil all right, so getting a few lines here. I'll trim that, and actually we could uh, offset this maybe 800, and we can trim. Select all of these as boundaries. Press space. Okay, that should be our our uh, water closet. Okay, and we've got our void. So we'll come down. Well, we know this will come down approximately 400 and we'll fill it that and we'll trim and we'll trim again and we might offset 800 for the opening and up we go to there and the void looks like it comes back around to here so we'll get at least a match up could have just fill it at that if we wanted to and what we do is that offset all this to 90 mil. Oops, I put that on the wrong side there. Um, okay, something's a bit off there. Okay, we'll get rid of that line. And we can delete that one, that was a mistake. And then we can fill it this around and put another line in here. And we'll trim. Okay, I think we're sort of just about there. I see this powder room door comes in a little bit, so we can perhaps fill it this. And I don't know. We'll, we'll put a line there, and we might come in perhaps 300 mil. And we'll offset 90. Okay, I think that's roughly, roughly sort of what we want. I think that's all the walls. Oh, there's a little bit down here in the kitchen. There's a Another little block bit here. Uh, perhaps we'll come in 900. That, uh, although it does look quite large. Maybe 
Maybe we'll make that 600. 600, and we'll come down 600 to there, and we can offset 90 mil. We'll fill up this corner, and then we'll trim in there. Okay, I think that's everything. Right. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, and what we need to do is put in the openings now. Um, so, well, we can approximate where this goes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this layer. So we're back to wall brick. And we're going to put a line there and there. And we're going to trim. TR. Click those as our boundaries. Press space or enter. And then trim. Oh, I can't seem to trim that line for some reason. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explode it. So I'm going to type X for explode and then select it. So I'm going to try trimming that again. And I can't seem to I can't seem to trim that for some reason. I don't know why it's going on there. If I could send that to back, draw order. Nope, don't know what's going on there. So we'll try filleting these instead and we'll draw a line in. So, and then we'll match properties. Okay, so we've got our opening there. Alright. Um, there's another opening here. Um, approximate midpoint. And we want to offset 300mm. I think that window is actually a bit bigger than that. And maybe we'll delete that. And offset it uh, 450 either side. Delete that line. And we'll trim again. And hopefully it trims this time. There we go. Trims that time. Uh, we've got a, a window down here. We'll come up about, I don't know, 250. And we'll offset that maybe 1800 for our window. And we'll trim again. Okay, uh, we've got another window. Perhaps we'll come down 600 from there, from that line. And we'll offset that 900. And we can trim again. See ya. Now, in the middle of the lounge room, um, what I'm going to do is to work at the midpoint, is I'm going to draw a line between those two walls and then a line this way. Now I can offset that line. Uh, perhaps we'll do 1050, so it's a 2100 opening. And then we can trim. Use those lines and those lines. And we'll get rid of everything. Alright, now we can delete all that. Don't need that. And here we have again uh, some windows. Um, I'm not going to measure it out, I'm just going to do it roughly. So it's 300 to there, and we'll come down 300 from there. Okay, and we'll make these windows, uh, I don't know, perhaps 900. Actually, I'll make them 1200. So offset 1200, this line, and this line. And we can trim, trim those. And now we can use these boundaries to trim the wall lines as well. Okay, now just so we can have a look at what we've got, we're going to select on that on the left here and right click and go to unload. So we can sort of see what we've got going there. We don't really need the the wall lines underneath at the moment. We've got our outline, so we can kind of turn that off for now, our extra. We don't really need it. Um, it gives us a bit, a bit easier for us to see what's going on. So what we can do is draw another line here from the midpoint and we'll offset 400. Trim all this and this and this. Oop. Now I'm going to match properties. MA for match properties. Select the brown and select the red. Okay. Uh, what else have we got in here? So we've got another opening here. What I'm going to do is trim. Oop, this is not. We're going to extend these lines up first and we'll trim. So we've got a midpoint now of this wall. We'll offset 450 either side for the opening of the doorway. So we're going to trim again. 
select these as our boundaries and then we're going to match properties MA match properties again select that line um, now actually we could, oh, we'll leave that line, these lines there for now um, and we might just leave that uh, wall there for now too That's, there will be some doors there but we don't worry about that right this moment and what we might do is change our layer to uh, a joinery and we know there's some joinery in here and actually I might try to draw a polyline right around here and I'm going to offset 600 mil and I'm going to delete that previous line so now we have our walk-in road joinery and we've got down the bottom here it should be oh, I'm going to draw a line here to here and draw offset that 600 and delete the previous line and we can bring that line down to there as an island bench so we'll allow this one meter it says so we'll offset one meter oops that was 100 not one meter so offset one meter to there to there and I think even to there and then the island bench might be perhaps 1200 by the looks of things quite big so then we can just fill it around I should all fill it this way there we go. and now we can match properties alright so we've got our kitchen joinery in there we've got our openings okay now we can change to our stair so a stairs I'm going to turn back on the xref okay so now we can see the stairs coming up so we know there's the landing there and we know that the stairs go along to there there's a handrail so I can offset that 90 mil for the stud wall and I can draw in a few of these lines and let's see we'll draw one more and we draw an angle and then we'll trim those lines so it looks a bit like the oh we can just delete that one um, yeah so it looks a bit like what we've got on the floor plan and what we want to do is draw one more there and then we're going to offset which I think is 250 but we'll click from here to here and we'll just continue the actually that's not a straight line it's a bit off you know we'll try that again there to there, to there. we can offset to there to there so and yeah that looks about right okay uh, I think we can now turn off that extra again so we'll select it right click and click on unload and we'll put in a few more windows so we'll, we'll change back to walls timber actually we might change it to walls uh, brick so what do we got we've got uh, oh, we've got a window here and we'll offset that 600 either side actually I think that window's a bit bigger but we'll leave it for that for now doesn't really matter it's just I mean the whole point of this uh, tutorial is to just learn how to do certain things it's, it doesn't matter about how accurate we are with trying to match the existing floor plan there come in say 200 and offset 600 okay so we've got another opening There's another big window above here and that looks like quite a large window so uh, perhaps we'll, we'll go 900 either side it's a big 1800 window offset those There's another little window here um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these there and trim again so now I have this line by itself which means I can pick the center point of it really easily and I'll offset uh, 300 either side, it looks like a little window and delete that line trim and select these and trim again now we've got a window there, these will be a 600 window again we need a trim here so select there and we'll, while we're here we'll trim this one too and we'll select there 
Now we'll offset again, 300. Either side. I'm gonna select those middle ones and delete them. And trim. Oops. And we can trim in the middle of that. And we've got one more window, which is the bathroom or the ensuite area. So it seems to go right up to the edge there. And we'll offset maybe 1800. Uh, that's probably a little bit too far. Perhaps we'll go 1200. Okay, it looks a bit more like it. Alright. And now we can go back to, let's see, we've got our A sanitary. We're going to put in our shower. And that goes from here, right out to here. And maybe 900. Oh, we can undo that. U for undo. Maybe go to 1 meter, so 1000. Alright, now we can draw in some lines. So we've got that in there. And. Okay, I think that's the sort of basics of it. I save that. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the previous ground floor plan so I can grab out some of these windows that we made earlier. So I can just uh, control C to copy them and then control V to paste them in. And I can just place them then and drag the openings. So there's no point uh, redoing the blocks again since we've already done them. We can just reuse them again and again. That's what's so great about blocks. Now we'll select that and we'll rotate it. Nice and easy here. And we'll stretch them as we need to in a moment. Okay. Stretch. Let's escape. Okay. Alright. And... Well, this is the same sort of block, but it's facing the other direction already for us. Oop. And we'll copy that to there. Okay, now we can just stretch these down. Okay, so we've got those in there. Um, we might go back to our ground floor plan again and we might grab uh, these two items and go back to our plan and paste them in. So, we've got there and we'll copy another one to there and that to the middle, rotate it around, push it up to the wall and then we'll come down, say 50 mil. And then we can trim that bit of joinery through the sink. Okay. Uh, what else do we need? We need some we need a door, so we'll go back. We'll grab a door, control C to copy it, and control V to paste it in. And so let's see. Rotate that around. Oop. And we can select it that way. And it appears to be only um, two doors I can see on the inside. We'll rotate that around. I believe that's the right direction. Yep, now we can now I'll move that 45 mil. Oh. We can delete those timber walls, we don't need those now. Um, there is one more area down here. I've got a layer, uh, should be called deck and terrace. And I can offset 90 mil for the walls and then fill it them. Okay, and we'll need an opening there to get onto the deck and terrace. So we'll offset that. Well, actually, what we might do is rather than offsetting this time, we'll come up 200 mil, and then we'll offset perhaps 1800. That's just oh a little bit too big actually. We might just pull that down to here. Just fits. Okay. So bring that line to there. We're going to match properties. To both these lines, I'm going to trim, and we're going to trim again. All right. Uh, we don't have a block so much for this type of door that's shown 
but we'll make one just roughly using the doors that we have here and come in 45 and then we'll grab a window so we'll rotate that around and it's it's roughly it's not quite right but it's it's pretty close okay so we've done those things it's um sort of basics uh now we're going to go back to our layer a hatch four finishes and we're going to draw in another interface line i don't think that quite touched no it didn't all right and there should be one here for tiling uh, I think that's the only area we're going to have tiling. So what I'm going to do is to go back to the ground floor plan. I'm going to grab this hatch. I'm going to copy it. Control C. Go back to this plan. Control V. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type BH for BH. And I'm going to pick in this point. Press space or enter. Now I'm going to click on inherit properties. Uh, inherit the properties from the previous hatch. As you can see it's now set it all to the right angle and scale. Click OK. I'm going to do B hatch again. Click pick point and press space and enter. And that's good. Uh, again, I might uh, select the hatch, right click on it, go to hatch edit. And I'm going to change down the bottom here, click to set new origin. And I'm going to click here so we change uh, where the top first tile is begin. Click OK. As you can see, it's a bit neater now. Um, this doesn't look too bad on this one. Uh, we might do it anyway. Hatch edit. Click new origin. Click OK. So it's now yep, perfect. So we can we can delete that. We've got our um all our windows and doors in, hatching in. Uh, I'll leave the furniture up to you to draw in if, if you like. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, I think we might already have some of the furniture. Well we've got a similar sort of thing here, which we can copy. And um or I can place it in the lounge room. But for the other furniture, I'll, I'll leave that up to you to, um, to draw if you like, if it's up to you. It's, um, it's not necessary. This is sort of just learning the concepts of how to actually do things in AutoCAD. So, um, we will actually, while we're here, we will grab the bed as well. We've got a bed, so why not use it? So I'll grab that. Control C. Gives a bit more of a, a feel for the area. I'm going to also trim this here, so now I can fix it to that midpoint of the wall. Okay, we're going to leave that um, here. That's the basics of the first floor plan that we've now done. So we've got the ground floor plan and the first floor plan, and we used a little bit of XREFs, so I can turn that on again, just so we could see. Uh, oh, one thing we haven't done is we haven't put a roof on, so we'll go to a roof. And we'll draw a line around there. And it looks like it's a hip roof. So what we can do is we'll draw a line, select it. Now we're going to hot grip it. So by left clicking on it, hot grip. I'm going to press space once and then space again. So it says rotate. And then we're going to type 45. So it's now drawn that at 45 degrees. And we can draw another one. We'll move another copy of one to there, and we can rotate another copy. So to there, and this gives us our 45 degree angles. So now we can fill those hips together, and there we go. We have our um, hip roof over there. So now we can turn off the um, the extra again. And there we have it, we have our first floor plan. Mm -hmm.